people somehow find the strength in them to keep going. And my big hope is for peace. We need peace in the world. We need no more hatred, no more anger. We need to share peace between each other and love. Our goal is to help everyone in the humanitarian world that needs help. Um, we are non-political, non-racial, and we help anyone that needs it. Mate specializes in technology, and we use technology in the humanitarian world to help. When there's a disaster and people are intense and they've got no light or electricity, so we'll arrive with solar power generators. I'm hoping today we will be opening the first smart class in Israel for the kids that are displaced. At the most right now, the people who are displaced, they've, they've left with the clothes on their back. They've left with their, their phone in their hand and they've got no phone charger. So we've been giving out portable phone chargers. Um, we've been giving out clothing, blankets. We've provided mattresses for people who have arrived in places that they've got nothing. We all have our moments where we break down and, you know, um, sometimes it could be you're delivering aid somewhere um, and someone will just grab your hand and hug you or hold you and then you see that person's face in front of you for a long time when you've gone away. We all have our moments that someone's touched us and or situations and stories. It's the stories that affect us. I've never ever in my lifetime seen such pain, such people who are broken. Um, so many stories, so many stories that, stories from a man who spent his entire life looking after Palestinian people, helping them with startups, helping them get money to, to buy a home. He, he has spent his whole life doing that and he's an Israeli man and his daughter was murdered by Hamas at the film, at the music festival. That's why we need love and peace and we have to stop the hatred.